My name is Daniel, as Sheena said. Um, so I am a third year student in the dental program. That's the DDS, Doctor of Dental Surgery program. Um, a little bit about the School of Dentistry. Um, we have the DDS program as well as a dental hygiene program. Um, and then of course there's postgraduate work um, in the various dental specialties. Um, and the way the dental program works is you come to dental school, it's a four-year program normally. Um, and if you choose, you can specialize and go into a residency program um, with endodontics, with orthodontics. Those range from one to six years, I believe. Um, and again, those are all completely optional. Um, so I mentioned I'm a third year student um, and it's a four year program, but I'm actually in my fourth year here at UT Health Dental School. Um, I did so great in my second year, they asked me to do it again just to prove it. Uh, no, that's that's a lie. Uh, <laughs> so I have a question for everybody here. Raise your hand if you've ever thought, said, or believed, I hate the dentist. Anybody? It's okay. Yeah? Okay. Raise your hand again if you've actually said that to a dentist. Anybody? It's okay. I'm not here to shame you. <laughs> um, okay, so so then you and a lot of other people would probably be thinking, why in the world would anybody want to go into a profession where so many people hate you and will gladly say that to your face simply because of your profession, especially when they're usually seeking your help? Well, I'm going to tell you why I decided to join dentistry. I kind of think of dentistry as sort of the black sheep of the healthcare community. You won't usually see us in, in the operating rooms except for perhaps oral surgeons. Um, you won't see us you know, traipsing up and down the halls of a hospital, typically. Um, we're, we're usually considered the luxury sort of healthcare by, by many people in the world. Um, I was at a conference recently. I heard a speaker named Justin Jones Fosu, and his message, he had a lot of things to say, but his big message was, remember your why. And that really resonated with me as I started to think about what I was going to say to you tonight. Why did I decide to do this? So I'm a very non-traditional student. I'm probably the poster child of non-traditional students. Um, first of all, I'm 36 years old. Um, I'm, I'm much older than most dental students in the program right now, certainly my, my own class. Um, after I graduated high school in 2001, um, I, I was kind of lost. I didn't have much of a direction, and so I fell into the military. I went to the U.S. Navy, um, but I was kicked out after a few months under, um, under a law at the time called Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And so I didn't know what I was going to do, so I thought, well, maybe I should go back to school. So I did that. Um, I had been involved in, in a lot of theatrical productions in high school, community theater, etc., and I decided, you know what, I want to do that. I want that to be my career. So I was pursuing a degree in the musical theater, had dreams of Broadway. And then I went to work at Disney World. And, you know, they say it's the place where dreams come true, but that one did not come true. So after that, uh, and I was still in school, I flunked. I was terrible. Um, not to say I, I wasn't a decent performer, I just wasn't a good academic performer. Um, so I, I dropped out and, and I went to work, um, got into hotels, and this was all in Florida. I, I'm actually from Florida. Um, but somewhere along the way, I landed in Austin, Texas. That's a story for another time. Um, ended up in Austin and still working for a hotel company there. and. Then the recession in 2008 hit, I lost my job, and I searched for months and months and months, and I could not find another job in the hotel industry. 
eventually, by some stroke of luck, I ended up in a job at a dental office, doing admin work, greeting patients, helping them with billing, explaining services, et cetera, et cetera. And I noticed that there was a lot of money coming into that place. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, and I was, I had been working in hotels for so long and, and I was like, wow, that's a lot of money. I want to be making that kind of money. Um, and that was my motivation at that time. Uh, this was about 2009 timeframe. So got back into school at Austin Community College and I just started taking classes and went to work and I was doing well. I was nervous at first because I had flunked out of school when I was younger, but I actually was making A's and I was shocked. I had shocked myself. I had shocked the doctor I was working for. I shocked everybody. <laughs> um, and eventually I joined the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. And if you're familiar with that organization, they do a lot of community service. And, and I got involved with that. And as I went through that organization and started working with the public and seeing people and situations and, and, and these desperate situations, something clicked inside me. My view of the world changed. Suddenly, it wasn't about me anymore. Suddenly, it was about what can I do with all the privilege that I've been given to help somebody who does not quite have the same privilege. And I started noticing other things, even in my work at the dental office. There was a patient who came in to see that doctor. She had been in pain, but she was mortified of that dentist. She had to have a tooth taken out. She must have been 63 years old-ish. And she walked in that day to get her tooth out with a teddy bear. She was so scared. But I tell you, she got that tooth out and she was laughing as she left. Not because of laughing gas, I promise. Um, she was laughing because she had had a good time. That doctor helped her feel comfortable and relaxed at the dental office. And that's when I knew it's not about money anymore. I want to be like that. With my background in the theater, and performing arts, I can entertain. I can help people feel more relaxed and feel more comfortable about whatever dental treatment they need to have. So I continued on at Austin Community College. I didn't get into dental school the first time I applied back in 2012, 2013, but I did get in the second time. So I came here in 2015. Now, if you're paying attention, like I said, I'm here for the fourth year, but I'm in the third year curriculum. So I got in here in 2015. And I now have my own patients that I'm seeing. And I had one patient last year, last semester, come to me in tears. She's 37 years old, very young woman and she didn't have any teeth. And she was in tears because she said she couldn't date. She couldn't even go have dinner with her family. She said, I need dentures. This can change my life. You can help me. And when I told her that I can help her, how I can help her, she brightened up. She had hope. So the motto for, for UT Health for many years has been, we make lives better. And this is what I want to do, is make lives better by helping someone have a life. So my path has been very non-traditional, to say the least. I plan to be a very non-traditional kind of dentist. And tonight, I want to challenge all of you, don't be afraid to think outside that box and take that non-traditional path. And always, always remember your why. Thank you.